Greetings, everybody. Guzzle here. Still checking out some demos for you guys. This is a game called Earthless. And this is a deck building roguelite space combat game made by the same team that brought us Hard Space Shipbreaker, which was a really fun game released a couple years ago. So let's check this out. I think it's going to be really cool. Okay, so here's our faction. I guess there's going to be three in the uh, final game or final uh, release. So that should be pretty cool. But let's uh, take a look at this IAA faction, International Aeronautics Association. Our ship is the Asimov class. And our ability is draw three cards. These cards cost zero energy for the encounter. And, uh, oh, we get to pick. Okay, so uh, that's one That's one ability we could have. The other is the Clark class. Add five dagger missile launch into your hand. I don't know what the dagger missile launch is, but that could be good. And then the Vern class ship ability. Lose three heat and gain three energy. Okay, so Isaac Asimov, uh, Jules Verne, and Clark. I'm blanking on Clark. I'm sure it's some famous author and somebody in the comments will say, you uncultured swine how dare you not know who clark is but there you go guys it's all based on authors which is kind of fun uh lose three heat and gain three energy let's go you know what i'm a big fan of Ernest from back in the day you know what i mean Vern? let's take the Vern class let's go dude <laughs> all right we're in the middle of the hurricane just kidding it's like a galaxy optimal exoplanet target dude so we're moving from a solar system onto, I suppose we're trying to make it to the exoplanet to uh, colonize or something like that. Oh my goodness, we have a crew. Uh, Wow, let's take a look at that. Welcome to the crew manifest. It'll be important to manage your crew's morale, Captain. The higher the crew morale, the better they perform. Conversely, the lower their morale, they might start causing problems. You also find their current upgrades on this chart. You can also see your crew stats during the encounters by toggling the crew UI. Oh man. All right, so he's uh noble. He's currently neutral. He's not happy or sad. He's our science officer, so that's our Spock there. Uh chief engineer. Oh wait, that's a that's a personality trait, noble analytical, quirky, slimy, uh-oh, and human supremacist. Hmm, that doesn't sound good either. But a slimy navigation officer, that can't be good. So anyway, they all seem neutral right now, so we have to kind of keep morale in check. Uh, what else we got here? Cards recycle ready in three turns. Uh, what else we got? Discard pile. Oh. So this little HUD here, I guess, is like actually part of our gameplay. We can move around the map, WSAD, which is great. Where's our end goal? Is that the end goal? The boss encounter. Yeah. Well, do we get to pick where we start? I don't think so, but let's try to. Nope, we have to pick this. Okay. Here's our first encounter, guys. Let's see. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Greetings, Captain. We've just exited warp, and it seems we're in an asteroid field. Our computers generated the objective indicated here. Navigation has calculated an exit trajectory highlighted on the hollow table grid. Navigate to these tiles to complete our objective. To locate the exit tiles on the hot, I'm going to keep screwing that up. The hollow table grid use WASD to pan the hologram and use space to center on our ship. To move, left click on the ship. Okay. So this is cool. Like, this is our. Kind of, we're, we're, we're conducting the battle from within the ship at a hollow table instead of like, you know, this is a kind of an isometric perspective. You guys, it's, it's, a, it's a neat idea. Uh, anyway, let's move. There you go. As we move, our engine will heat up. When the heat reaches the maximum, our ship can no longer move. Going over the heat limit will result in overheat cards equal to the difference being added to the top of your deck. 
he dissipates after, at, at, at a rate of one per turn. There is an asteroid blocking our way target and an attack card on the asteroid to destroy it. The cost of playing card is indicated in the top left and its range on the bottom right. You can find our ship's current and max energy per turn on this readout. Okay. So moving does not count, does not cost energy, but it does cost heat. So we have four, four energy in missile launch is one shield blast. I don't, we, I don't think we have no shields right now. We have 40 hull, but no shields. If we were to shields up, we could do the shield blast and clear out three asteroids. Let's try that out. Shield blast, baby. Oh. I guess it did not. Okay. okay, we're not overheating. Let's fire a rocket. Oh, we can't reach the uh, this guy. He's too far. Uh, I don't think we get anything from... From... Uh, Oh wait, we can move more now. Let's let's go ahead and do that. Moving. We've detected a hostile alien life form, Captain. Inspect the unit by hovering over it to gain more intel. Our ship is equipped with advanced AI systems that predict the actions of other ships. Inspecting an enemy unit will provide a preview of its intention while holding tab will show all enemy units intention intended actions in the next turn. Good luck and lead us to our destination, Captain. You got it. Blow him out of the out of the stars, dude. What? That did no damage? Uh, why? Was he shielded? Maybe he was shielded? Uh, I don't know. We're gonna get shot, though, I think. So that's a bummer. Oh! Defensive salvo. Ooh. Why didn't he take any damage, I wonder? Uh, it's not going to hit him. Oh, that will hit him. So he just, he must have just been um, shielded or something. I don't. This icon next to my ship. Oh, no, that's the asteroid that's going to get destroyed. I see. Okay, let's do this. Got it. Okay, we can move. We're done. Oh, heat level's critical. Let's, let's play this. And discard this. And now we have our... We vent the heat, dude. Now we can move out. We're done. Okay, we're getting it. We're getting it. Open reward pack. Okay, choose reward. All right, battle preparations. It costs one. Discard two cards on the next turn. Lose three heat and draw two cards. Warhead arming sequence. Add a tactical strike card to the top of your deck. What is tactical strike? Oh. Indirect AOE one deals six damage. It's free, too. Um, That's pretty good. It costs two. It's expensive. But... I I think uh, I think I'm going to go with this. A little bit of prep never hurt, right? Okay, so let's look at the path we have in front of us here. There is a point of interest there. And then this is a salvage site. And that is transmission. Point of interest. Uh, we could. I think we could hit it all up, dude. I think. But let's try to go down there to check out that point of interest. Um, and what do we want to do here? Destroy all enemy units and escape. All right. Let's move. We want to be... Oh, you know what? He's got... He had shields. That's what... Oh, they have four shields. Okay. We know We know what's going on. Let's shield up, because they're going to be blasting us, dude. They are going to blast us hard. Shield up. 
all the way up. Now we have 12 shield. Look at that. We knew this was coming. Whoa! Oh yeah, we're gonna lose 25 if we don't take care of this. Cool. Okay. Um, right now... We want to move... Oh, we lost all our shields, so this is not gonna help us. Let's try to get... We wanted shields and we did not get them. This would give us shield, though. And so, let's discard... Okay. We have, we have... Let's do this. We hit him with the salvo. We got three shields. We hit him with the... with the blast. Um, we have two energy left, so we can fire on this guy. Boom. Boom. Enemy unit we will take damage, but... You know, it is what it is. Oh, yeah. I, we're going to take a little bit of damage. We'll be able to repair, hopefully. Um, wow, this sucks. I guess we shield up, dude. Vents of heat. Shield up. Alright, we're done. We blocked the shields there. Let's just hit him. You done? Target destroyed. Okay, now we can get out of here. We're going in. We're going in. Engine overdraw. Take two whole non-lethal damage. Good lord. Uh, crushing does what? I don't know what this icon means. Um. I think... Without a way to repair, this card scares me. So I think we'll grab another salvo. Um. Okay. One more battle, guys, and then we can check out the point of interest. Hopefully this is worthwhile. We're in an asteroid field, it looks like. Yikes, lots of enemies, dude. How about we do this? We do battle prep. We get rid of our attack cards for now. We're gonna shield up. What does this guy do? Uh-oh. Does he spawn units? Um. Okay, that's bad. I didn't really see that guy till now. But I'm going to wait for them to come to me. Uh. Okay, what? He's got firepower. Units with firepower will deal bonus damage equal to the number of stacks. Okay, this is um this is troublesome. Let's let's start moving. Let's move into range. We need to... Shield up. Yikes, I thought that was a bigger range. Crap. Can I undo? I don't think there's an undo. Ship ability meter. Mm. Oh, I forgot about our special uh, our special ability, guys. I forgot all about it. So let's let's do this. Let's move again. Let's do this properly this time. We'll pretend like we meant to do that, and now we hit him another another salvo. And now we got two energy left. Let's fire. He's got so much shield, it kind of sucks, so it's not really going to help. Let's hit let's hit our ability. I can't use it. Why not? Why can't I use this? Dang it. Hmm, I don't know why. I may have uh, made a bad decision. I don't know. 
Uh, we can't play anything, so it's kind of pointless. I don't know when we can use our... Uh-oh. When we can use our special ability. Oh, my God. We're... We're vulnerable now. So that's pretty bad. But let's... We hit him with the salvo, dude. Check this out. We hit this. And then... We got three shield. We gotta kill this thing. I don't care about the heat right now. Let's hit this. Oh, that was beautiful. That's the way to do it. Oh, this is ready now. Oh, I see you build up this meter for the special ability. That's what's up, dude. Well, you know, all it would get us is a free shot. I'm going to do it anyway. I don't care. we got to use that all the time. Wait, why didn't he attack? Got him. Got him. What? I think we're just... <laughs> I think we're just... Uh, we're just getting out of here. I think that's what we're doing. See you guys later. <laughs> Ooh, we got a card pack. I'd rather have the artifact. Lusk Pearl Accelerator... Uh, give it attack card plus one range, dude. And then Proton Torpedo. Indirect AoE. Deal four damage. Discard your hand. Draw that many cards. That's kind of interesting. And it's it, it'll exhaust. So you use it once per combat. For every two attack cards played in a turn, lose one heat. That's kind of interesting. Um... Some good choices here. Uh, I think, I think I want this one. How do we repair? Captain, we've collected an artifact. This will help upgrade our combat capabilities. Upgrade your cards with the artifacts collected here. Okay. Disposing of cards can take time. You'll be notified how long you have to wait until your next card disposal. Captain, we are now ready to dispose of a card we do not need. Captain, we can install the Obtain Artifact onto a card with the Amplify effect. All artifacts in our inventory are available in this list. To proceed, select an artifact on screen and press Select button on the bottom. Okay. You can see all the available cards for the artifact installation on this screen. Select a card on screen to preview the effects. You will see a card up here on the right. Okay, yeah, this is all... We got it. We got it. This is fine. Okay. Uh, we got it. It's all good. Okay. <clears throat> Upgrade. We'll do that first. Um, Where are my cards, though? Let's, uh... Let's think about this. I don't think I want to lose anything yet. But why can't I... Why can't I apply this? That's... Uh, yeah, that's... Oh, <laughs> I had to hit the select button. Ha <laughs> ha. And here I was saying the tutorial was, you know, annoying and we were skipping it and all that. Let's, uh, let's go with, uh... Let's do the salvo. What's this become? Better range. Let's do it. Recycling. Let's get rid of... 
We have three shield gain. Let's get rid of one of those. Yes, confirm. Okay, we're done. Okay, uh, let's go to the point of interest here. Let's see what this is all about. Channel 1, the gunnery officer. Captain, we've collected intact Lusk pearls during our last encounter. Okay. I'd like to request that the priority be given to research these pearls for improving our combat capabilities. Captain, the research team has been waiting for an opportunity to take a close look at the Lusk's anatomy. There's a significant chance these pearls will aid medical advancement. Priority should be given to medical. Oh. Oh, they are arguing over the the use of our research we're discovering here. Let's go for the medical. The chief engineer will not like this decision, but the science officer and the comms will. Conversely, the science officer will not like this choice, but the navigation gunnery and chief will. And the communications officer is neutral on this decision. So, honestly, we're going to go with this one, I think, is the best outcome. I got a missile launch card. So, let's let's have a look at the card. Oh, just one miss a regular missile launch? That's not that exciting. Okay, whatever. Let's go to the salvage site. Maybe this is how we repair, hopefully. Oh. 15. Hmm. Captain, we have located the remains of another human spacecraft. We can salvage it for parts to upgrade our ship and repair our hull. So we take 15 hull repair. Or we salvage for parts. I'm going to risk it for the biscuit, dude. Let's take the parts. We can do a kinetic redistributor. Every time you gain a shield draw, that's pretty strong. Uh, we can take a part, make a skill card, give plus five shield to yourself. That's pretty huge. Captain's orders, deal five damage, gain five shield combo, draw a card and gain an energy. Interesting. Um, hmm. Let's grab that. I, I want to see how, how the combo mechanic thing works. Cool. Ooh, got a card schematic. To craft a new weapon, dude. Artifact schematic. Sweet. Welcome to the crafting module. To access the si a schematic we just received, navigate to the schematic inventory by pressing the crafting button. Okay. There's two types of schematics, one for crafting cards and one's for crafting crafting artifacts. Once a card schematic is selected, you can preview the card on the right-hand side of the screen. Press the craft button for the console to add the card to your deck. For artifact schematics, use the description to help you determine what artifact you want to craft. The crafted artifacts will be added to your inventory. To craft a card or an artifact, we you require sufficient amounts of crafting resources will be collecting these resources along our journey, Captain. All right, gotcha. Captain's orders, dude. No artifacts to, to construct, but we have... Oh, that's the cost, the crafting cost at the bottom. That's what that is. And we have enough. Let's craft that bad boy. Hell yeah. Okay. Too bad we used the uh, upgrader. Uh-oh. Can I not go this way? Oh, no. Why are we locked? I thought... See this? how this path is connected here? I thought for sure we're going to be able to go up through this way. That sucks. We can't go through there. Why is this connected and we can't go that way? That doesn't make a lot of sense. Um... Let me let's look at this. Hold on. Why do we have to go there? I don't like how linear it is. I mean, if you we would have had to go up there, I guess. I I mean, look at this look at this out here. 
It doesn't really make a lot of sense. I, I Okay, well, it's fine. It's fine. It's just the demo. But that's a bummer, dude. I thought we'd have a, a chance to see more of the events. Volatile asteroids. Okay, hold on. I get a chance to read that. Destroying an asteroid will deal two damage to adjacent units. That's good to know. Okay, we got the buff dude over here, so that's bad news. We got an artillery unit. Okay. Let us... Um, here's what I'm thinking, man. We could blow up an asteroid. What's the range? I bet you have to just be right next to it. Oh, I got an idea. What if we lure them over here? I think that could be a play. We're going in. Yeah, we're going in. Shields up. Damn right. Wait a second. Oh shit. I forgot I upgraded the range on that. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's fine. That's fine. Let's let him come to... Okay, now we need to move, dude. We got plenty of energy. We have all these great attack cards. I don't know what the combo ability. So what is this? Combo effects will trigger if the combo card is played after another card. We can we can do that. All right, let's move in. Let's move in and light these fools up. Watch this. Hit him with a salvo. We hit him with the. We hit him with the. Uh, Captain's orders, dude. We hit two energy left to go. We have eight shields. This is free. Let's play this. We have two energy. Let's do... Man, it sucks it takes the shields away, though. I don't love that. Okay, let's play this. And we're done. Whoa! Alright, that guy doesn't mess around. It's good to know. We're moving. We're moving big time. We're moving big time, boys. All right. We're doing this. Hostile unit eliminated. Hostile unit eliminated. Yeah, I know. Shields up. Hmm. Hmm. Vent it out, dude. I'm not worried about it. Although, is he? Sp I think he's spawning units, so we have to really deal with this. So let's. They're just out of range. Let's play this. We'll discard. We'll discard this. All right, we're gonna move in and we're gonna blow these fools up, dude. Watch this. You done. You done. Mm. Let's play this. All right. Our shields took care of it. No worries. Um.
This will hit him, I think. Okay. We gotta hit him for four. So, it sucks we have to spend two of these, but... He's dead. Um, what are these guys? The Lusk Seeker suicide unit contaminates tiles adjacent to a targeting... Okay. So that's kind of bad. Uh, what do we do here? Uh, we shield up. That's what we do. We wait it out. Oh, here they come. Okay. Let's get ready to fight. Yeah, we got him, dude. Easy. Whoa. Majolnir strike? I don't know if I say that. If that's how you say that. Majolnir? Gain one heat, deal five damage, apply two vulnerable, and two weaken. That's pretty good, dude. It's got two range as well. So I like it. Holy, what? Okay, uh, what in the hell is this thing? It's the hive, dude. The Borg hive. <laughs> what was the, the Borg cube? Is that, was that what it is called? The hive? I don't remember. Alright, so this is bad, dude. This is really bad. We need to take care of this. Let's go down here. Volatile reactor cores. Destroying an enemy will deal two damage. And electronic warfare. Attacks and skills targeting the player will put a sensor overload card in their discard pile. Well, all right. We have we have some, some things to do here. Hmm. Let's think about this. Man, they have they are beefy too, like five shields. Uh anyway, let's try to figure out. Of course we can't get in range. But I what we could do. We're going in. We're going in. Defensive salvo. Now we can get in range. And I think we want to. We hit him with the Molgier Molgier Mold Mjolnir strike. I apologize to my Scandinavian, Norwegian, whatever that word is. <laughs> anybody who watches it, uh, this video, anybody, I apologize. Hit him. Hit him with the blast. Okay. Play this. That's got our range too. We want to play that. And then, so let's get rid of his shields. And so we hit him. We hit him. And he's got a little bit of damage. Let's shield up though. Actually, why can't I? Oh, you have to discard two cards. I was kind of thinking I could play this and still do it, but no. All right, that makes sense. That's fine. Oh, here we go. At least he only spawns one unit. But they're both spawning, so that's really bad. Okay. This is, uh... Um, well, this is a pretty straightforward turn here. But he's gonna die. So that's good news. You're done. Ooh. That's what I like to see, baby. Oh, he shielded up. Weak. Okay. We gotta move. But the good news is... We can hit him. Whoa, wait a second. Wait a second.
Oh, he's blocked by the damn asteroid. Are you kidding? Oh, you suck. Hmm, I don't want to lose my shields. We're, it's, it's alright, we got sh Okay. We need this to be a big turn. Uh, we can't. Whoa, gray cards are classified as critical error. These have a negative effect and harm or hinder capabilities in some way. Discard that piece of junk. Oh, wait a minute. Nope, that one. I Dismantle. Do I play this to burn it? Let's not worry about that at the moment. Got to focus on our objective. We prevent the heat. We play this, I guess, to burn. No, it just sits there and clogs up our deck. Oh, this is ready. Oh, I don't have anything to play. We're going to get shot. Probably. Oh. Oh, my God. Anyway. That sucks. Get that out of here, dude. Um, we're in range, right? I hope so. Yes. Okay. Good stuff, dude. Good stuff. Enemy unit destroyed. Shields up. Why didn't uh why didn't he shoot me, I wonder? Got him. Man, we need to heal pretty bad. Uh, All missile launch cards deal three damage to units adjacent to a target it destroyed. That's pretty expensive. Maybe it'll work out. I don't know. We took some damage, man. We got we got a... Uh, Dude, we got to heal, man. Oh, yellow cards are classified as equipment. These cards will be in effect for four turns before they expire. You can see what equipment is currently active in the area above the shield readout. Oh, cool, man. Uh, okay. Card recycle is ready. Let's hit that. We have no upgrades, so we can get rid of something. How about we get rid of... Um, one of the just bog standard attack cards, I guess. Okay. Let's do this communication, and hopefully this is a way for us to heal before the battle. Oh, there's a salvage right there, the next encounter. Captain, we've received data from the other colony ships that will allow us to improve the function of our crew. The signal bandwidth is weak and limits our data throughput, however. We were only able to receive enough data to upgrade one of our officers. Ooh. Uh, if you're at max heat, deal additional two damage. Every time you lose a hole, repair a hole. That seems strong. At the start of the encounter, gain three overcharge. What does overcharged do? Shield flow. When you exhaust or manually discard a card, gain four shield. Huh. At the start of the encounter, gain emergency heat vent and purge with purge into your hand. Hmm. Let's go with the damage control. We've detected a change in one of your crew's morale. This could have happened from drafting a card of their suit, siding with them in a point of interest, or upgrading their skills during a transmission. To inspect the details, access the crew manifest. All right. 
what happened here. Some guy got happy, I hope. Yeah, he's... Oh, so if he's in a good mood, we get a shield boost, man. That's awesome. All right. Good incentive to keep them happy. We got to repair big time. Yeah, dude, we're doing this. Hell yeah. All right, guys, it's time. Boss battle time. Let's let's hit this. Let's see how good of a captain your boy is. What in the hell? Look at this thing. The Seeker Turret. Ooh, it shoots a, line, a beam in a line. If the enemy is more than three tiles away, spawn a Seeker Swarm. Good to know, dude. So this thing has 60 health. And it is total immunity, so we have to destroy the turrets first. Well then. We don't want to be... We have to be in range. Let's, let's go ahead and play this. We have to move into range. So they don't spawn the stupid uh, turret things. Ugh. Damn, I'm not quite there. Um. Damn, we can't use this. We could play it, but... It's just out of range. What's the We can't move. We don't we can't even overcharge it to move, damn it. Okay. Um Okay. What? It repairs itself. I can't. Oh shit! I, I shouldn't have clicked away on that. Sorry, guys. I'm I'm a little bit. I'm just a little. Uh, I'm just trying to understand wh what's going on. Let's play this. So how long will this? This is for four turns. We have this ability now. And this is ready. Yes, dude. Okay, now we're talking. Move into range. We hit him. There it is, dude. There it is. Hit him. Hit him hard. Shield up. Okay. That's amazing. Oh, damn. <laughs> Didn't like that, huh? Okay. Okay. Let's think about this, boys. Uh, we need to get... Let's move in. This is, this is incredibly risky. But I'm doing it. Oh, sorry. Let's damage this guy. Because we're hitting him. We're hitting him hard, dude. Let's... I think let's shield up. No, no, no. Let's let's draw. Draw. Sorry. Um, can I, can I play this? There you go. Okay. Yeah, that's what we're after, dude. There we go. Boom. Suck it down. Still have some shields to, uh, applied as well. Um, oh, this is beautiful. Watch this. You hit him with this first. You hit him with the captain orders, dude. Wait, what? Why is he shielded again? Oh, you dirty, you dirty rat. Oh, you don't like that, huh? Ooh, he's hurting, boys. 13. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, my God. What is happening? What is happening, dude? <laughs> uh, okay, so those guys, I see. They, these guys got in range and exploded on me. That's what happened here. So here's a question, right? Let's, let's just, while we're here, we hit him. We hit him again. He's getting... He's he's down to the line here. Let's try to draw an attack. Oh. Oh. 
Let's get rid of this. Yeah. Can't we can... Oh, we're one short of killing him. We're so close, dude. Oh, that's so bad. Tell you what, we gotta move out. We gotta move. And then let's vent. And next turn, he's done. Ooh. All right. We're going to move in and blast his ass. You guys ready for this? That's right, we're going in. You better believe it. Ooh. We did it. But your mission has only just begun. Do your best to lead the settlement of your crew and passengers, but know that your services may be called upon again in the future. Soft landings, Captain. Happy trails, Hans. Yo! Look at that, dude. Guys. Captain, our future lies with you. Plan features for early access launch. Coming early access in 2024. Campaign Act 1 co-op play. 90 plus cards. 3 plus bosses. 20 enemy units. Hundreds of upgrades. 50 plus crew members. And much more. Um, So there's your roadmap, I guess. So, sort of. Roadmap without any kind of concrete dates. My first thought, my very first thought looking at this, three bosses is not enough. Um, so I hope they plan to have a lot more variety than this. Although it says campaign act one, maybe each campaign would have three bosses each. That kind of makes sense. But anyway, that's earthless guys. I think it's pretty cool. I had a good time. So guys, as always, when I play these demos, I always will share a link for the game in the description below if it seems like something you want to check out. Uh, I I will I like this. I will be wish, wish listing it. Um, and uh, if you guys want to do the same, again, follow the link in the description below. If there's any demos you guys are interested in you'd like for me to check out, please leave a comment and recommend some demos, guys. I'm having a blast checking out all these new games. And uh, if you guys watched the whole video, thank you very much. I really do appreciate you guys. And uh, hope you're having a great week. And I'll see you for the next one.